Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2005 Honda Pilot, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Hopkins Plug-in Simple Trailer Wiring Harness. With Pilots being really versatile vehicles, a lot of people use them for a lot of different things. And that does include towing a trailer. So whenever we are pulling a trailer with our Honda, we are going to need a way to transfer the lighting signals from the back of the Pilot to the back of the trailer. And we're going to be able to do that with our harness. Now today I have ours stored inside of the storage compartment, which is really nice because when you're not using it, out of sight and out of mind, and it's out of the elements. Well, you just grab it and kind of close our compartment, drape it over our threshold, and we're ready to plug it in. Now the only thing you have to watch out for when you do drape it along a threshold is the latch. You want to avoid this area completely. So we'll kind of straighten everything out here. That way it lays nice and flat. Close the door and we're ready to hook up to our trailer. But inside isn't the only place this can be stored. You can actually permanently mount this outside here next to your hitch. And that'll come in handy if you use your pilot a lot to tow your trailer. Just be a little more convenient. However, since this is not bonded wiring, um, it's not the best choice to mount this outside. However, it's not gonna hurt anything if you do. I would just recommend picking up maybe some wire loom to help keep these wires a little more protected. And it is gonna have a really nice and thick cap here. That's gonna help keep moisture and dirt and debris out of those terminals. But I like to go a step further and from time to time, take some dielectric grease and give those terminals a nice coat. And that'll just ensure that we won't get any corrosion. So this is going to give us all the necessary lighting functions, our brake lights, our running lights, and our turn signals. So all those are necessary to not only be safe, but legal. And the harness is gonna put out plenty of power to turn on the new style LEDs and even the traditional style incandescent bulbs. But overall, it's gonna be a really convenient way to keep us safe whenever we're pulling a trailer. And whenever you're done, you're able to just throw it in your storage compartment and help keep the back of your pilot nice and clean. Now, since this does utilize the factory plug, the installation is going to be really easy and straightforward. It shouldn't take you hardly any time at all. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and hook it up together now. To begin our install, we're going to have to locate our factory plug. And that's right here in the back. So go ahead and open up our hatch. And we're going to lift up our storage compartment. And then we're going to remove this threshold and our plug should be right over here on the driver's side. So to get this threshold off, you can usually just take your fingers and kind of pull up in the center and pop the tabs free. Once we have it removed, we can just set it off to the side. And then if we peel back, this plastic here, we should be able to see our plug, and it's actually right there. You kind of reach down there and grab it. We can pull it out, give us a little more room to work. And then we can grab our trailer wiring. One end of it is gonna be our uh, four-way flat connector. The other end is going to match up with this factory Honda connector. So really simple. These will only plug in one way, kind of clip them together, make sure they're connected. Now before we put everything back and tidy it up all nice and neat, it's a good idea to test their wiring to make sure it's working properly. I'm using a tester, you can find here at eTrailer, or you can always just plug right into your trailer. So we'll go ahead and try our left turn, our right turn, our brakes and our running lights. So I went ahead and just used a couple of zip ties in the kit to secure our box to this factory wiring just to help keep it from bouncing around a little bit. And we can actually put this back, kind of peel back our storage compartment. We're able to tuck everything down there nice and hidden. And as far as our four-way connector goes, there's actually this little cutout here you can just put that in your storage compartment. And from there, we we'll just reinstall our threshold. This just lines up. And you can just push it back into place. 
And something I do want to mention many times, it happened here on me. This uh, weather seal is supposed to lay flat over the threshold like this. And you want that to go the whole way down. So if it does kind of roll over on you, you can do what I just did and take your fingers and kind of work it back to get it all straightened out. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Hopkins plug-in simple wiring harness on our 2005 Honda Pilot.